Well, the mail lady was just here again, and guess what? She brought me another box, Bass Baits Monthly. We're going to open it up in just one second, so stay tuned. Heidi ho ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to No Redemption Outdoors, and yes, we are in the cave again for another box opening, and my mail lady has been to the house. Bass Baits Monthly for March 2021. We're going to get into this box in just one second, but before we do, let me uh, draw your attention to the link up above. That's our three-minute grab bag giveaway. We do that every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. sharp. Make sure you check out that link because we reach into a giant duffel bag filled with dozens of baits. I grab one out and then we give it away. Uh, matter of fact, right here behind me is this week's featured bait. This is the Lunker Hunt Swim Frog or Walking Frog. Excuse me, the Walking Frog. And Saturday morning we're going to give it away. Could be you. Just get over there. Make sure you're a subscriber. Comment. You can comment more than once. And then find out if you're the winner. Just watch and win. It's just that simple. So I'm going to put this back here. And that's where we're going to put the featured bait every week. So that you guys can uh, you can admire them. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. And you may be aware that I've introduced a new segment. And I've decided to call it the One Minute What's In It. And just like the name says, we take the first minute of the box opening just to see what's in the box. So that those of you who are you know, maybe short for time and you're eager to get out on the boat, you can see what's in this box and then take off. And then the rest of you can hang around for the full box opening and the value analysis at the end. So let's get started. As we always do, I'll give you the first look in the box. And right on the top, first thing in the box, Bill Lewis, the uh, MR6 crankbait. This is a... Uh, Strawberry Craw, mid-range, six-foot diver. All right. Next item is the Livingston Lures Primetime SQ 2.0. Color on this is yellow craw. All right. Next item looks very interesting. The Picasso Lures Shock Blade. And as you can tell, I've already had this open once. This is a bladed swim jig. Color on this is Royal Red Craw. All right, that's a very interesting. I'm eager to get this open on camera. All right, next up is Gambler Komodo. Color on this is Red Hot, six count. These are uh, just basic, you know, trailer or, or creature bait, I guess. All right. Next item, Power Bait, Pit Boss. Uh, this is an 8 count. Uh, I don't know the color on this, but I'm going to call it Green Pumpkin. That's what we always call it, if it's not labeled. Um, so that is a, uh, did I say 8 count? All right. And then the next item is some Yum Dingers. I love the Yum Dingers. I have... Many packages of these, and you have used many packages. Color on this is pumpkin pepper green. It's an eight pack. All right. And then the last item in the box is a container of Spike It Dip and Glow. All right. This is chartreuse, and the uh, the scent is garlic. You do not want to spill this on the carpet of your boat. All right. So. That's the last time in the box, and then of course there is the sticker and a knot card. And with that, that concludes the one minute what's in it. And now we will turn to segment two, which is basically the full rundown of everything in the box. And like always, I, I have notes, and we're going to follow along in order of my notes. So, first thing that we'll look at is that Livingston Lure Primetime SQ 2.0. Now this is a circuit board square bill. It's flat sided, I believe. We'll take a look here. The color on this, as I mentioned, is yellow craw. 
Now, Livingston is known for their, what they call their EBS system. Let me give you a look here. I actually like the coloring of this. Very, very sticky hooks. But <clears throat> they call this EBS, uh, is short for Electronic Bait Fish S System. And uh, apparently when this thing hits the water, it emits a you know, audible sound to the fish that sounds like bait fish. What that brings to mind is a hydro wave. I think it's the same basic principle. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that's interesting. I wonder if that, um, I wonder how effective that is. So those of you who have used these, what do you think? Do they, do they really work? Uh, it's got BMC 2X strong hooks, and that is, in fact, why they're so sharp. Uh, and they recommend these to be used in stained or murky water. And as I mentioned, this has got circuit board bill, so it's going to have a little more, a little more unique action. All right, so that is the Livingston Primetime SQ 2.0, retailing for $11.99. I should point out before I move on that they, they have a companion application. I guess I'm going to call it a companion app. Basically, if you download this app, it can then scan the QR code that's printed on under the bill, and then you can create like a, a you know a tackle box on your phone listing all of your different baits, and then you can track whatever you catch on that particular bait, and you can track it on a map where you caught it and so forth. So it's an interesting way you know to gather a database, and so I thought I'd mention it's called the uh, SAMI S A M I is the name of the app stands for Smart Aquatic Marine Instruments. So if you're interested, go check that out. All right, next item in the box is the Bill Lewis MR6 crankbait. This is, a, I believe, a shallow diver. Goes to uh, six foot, yep. It's also a slow rising crank, so it's got perfect buoyancy and it actually rises real slowly on, on the pause. Uh, this is a half ounce, by the way, and it's got a uh, low pitch knock, so let's listen to it. Okay. Okay, yep. And if I didn't mention, it's got Mustad triple grip hooks, very sharp and sticky. All right, and you know, I love the Bill Lewis stuff. That rattle trap is like maybe one of the most versatile one of the best known baits out there and so if this is anything like that I, I really am eager to try it out I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be really cool all right so that's the Bill Lewis MR6 going for seven dollars and ninety nine cents all right next item all right this is the one I'm eager to get into the Picasso lure shock blade this is their version of a uh, bladed swim jig We'll go ahead and open it up. Now, again, this is um, Royal Red Craw. It's a half ounce. Pull my staples out. There we go. All right, let me give you a look at this. Right away, let me tell you that it's uh, built on a 5 ot Mustad Ultra Point hook. Very sharp and sticky. Uh, they utilize the, uh, their very popular uh, smart mouth plug jig. This is fashioned after that. And what's unique about that particular jig is the concave belly. And if you hopefully can see right here that that is indeed concave. So as to promote a very unique and special action. Of course, it's got the black nickel blade on there. Uh, nice, nice looking bait. Very eager to try it out. It's got a double, double trailer keeper, bait keeper. Let's see if we can get to it here. All right, so there's one, there's two. All right. So that is, wow, that's really cool. That is the uh, Picasso Lures. Uh, what is it? The, the uh, shock blade. Sorry about that. Shock blade. And that's going for $8.49. All right. 
All right, next item. We have Gambler Komodo. The color on this is red hot. This is a six count. Let me go ahead and open her up. This is very strong scent, FYI. I'm sure you can't appreciate that on the camera, but. All right, <clears throat> let me give you a look over here. This has got the uh, reversed ribs. So that as you're pulling it forward through the water, it's going to have a much more pronounced turbulent action. It's got rounded split tail, again, to promote sort of a little more action, a little smoother swimming kind of action of the tail. As I mentioned, it's uh, very heavily scented. Great for flipping, pitching, jigging. Some guys even swim it. So it's versatile. All right. So that is the Gambler Komodo. And I may have mentioned, but it's a six pack and it is going for $4.89. Next item the Berkeley Power Bait Pit Boss. Uh, I do not know the color on this because it does not state it. However, in keeping with the No Redemption Outdoor rules, this is officially Green Pumpkin now. Uh, my notes, you may see here, say do not open. However, uh, since I already opened that gambler, and I doubt that this is any worse, I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can get a better look. I'm doing this for you guys. All right, again, this is a great flipping and pitching bait. It's got what they call a saber tail design, so I presume that's these four tails here. I imagine that creates quite an interesting action in the water. It's got the uh, hook slot at the bottom so that you can get this thing pretty, uh, pretty weedless. Of course, it's got the power bait scent. Uh, need I say more? I will be washing my hands after this. All right, so that's the power bait. Pit Boss, eight count, going for three dollars and ninety-nine cents. All right, next item, Yum Dingers. Now uh, this is probably in just about everybody's box, same as the uh, Yamamoto Senkos. This thing, these things are great. I love these. Let me get one out. This is um, what color is this? Uh, pumpkin pepper green. And it is a eight count. Get this open. Give you a look here. You know, the thing about Yum is it's it's a durable bait, but it's still got good fluttering action. Actually, it also has a uh, hook slot there, so that you can rig that up uh, weedless. I imagine that'd be great with the wacky or uh, Nico. Uh, I saw one where Iconelli was doing what he called a chicken rig. I'd never heard or seen it before, but now that I look at this hook slot, it looks to me like it would be perfectly set up for you. Put a little bit of weight in the tail and then rig it up there, kind of Texas rig style, where you would put the hook for a wacky, but you do it like Texas rig. It's really interesting. Uh, look, you should Google it on YouTube. Google on YouTube. Search it on YouTube. And you'll see the video. It's very interesting. I think this would work well for that. All right. So this is the uh, Yum Dingers 8-pack going for $2.99. All right. And then the last item in here is a bottle of Spike It Dip and Glow. The color on this is chartreuse. The uh, scent is garlic. I'm not going to open this because this is would overwhelm this room. Um, if you're familiar with JJ's Magic Dipping Dye, it's the same concept. Uh, you dip your soft plastics, your worms, or your, you know, your craw tail or fins, or you dip your skirts from your jigs in there. Anything you want to give a little color or, or scent to, uh, you can dip it in there. And uh, I would just caution you, do not spill it. But this stuff is great, and sometimes when the fish are just, they're just not... Biting. Sometimes this is the trigger that'll get it done. So 
That and also it glows, by the way. I think the ultraviolet light hits it and it causes it to glow. So uh, that's the Spike It Dipping Glow going for five dollars and thirty-nine cents. And then at the bottom of the box we have the uh, Snell Knot. And on the back, they have some promo codes. I'll go ahead and share them with you. This one is give code PROMO20 to a friend to save 20% off the first month. Well, there you go, friends. Go ahead and use that. Also, hats are $12.50. I may check that out to see what that's all about. And then the, the sticker. And I have noted, base, uh, Bass Baits Monthly, that you have leveled up on your sticker game. Uh, you know, we every box I got before had just your logo sticker, but now you've added something different. So kudos to you, and I agree, no bananas allowed. All right, guys, with that, that's everything in the box. So now we're going to turn our attention to the value analysis, and like always, I'll bring you along. I'm going to put it up on the screen, and I have my notes to follow along. But there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in the box totaling $45.13 in value. The cost of the box is $35, so the value added is $10.13, or a theoretical return of 28.9%. Now, this certainly isn't on the level of, say, uh, Monster Bass or, or MTB. They seem to pretty consistently come in right around that 30% mark. Uh, last month was an anomaly. If you saw that, I'll put the link above. They actually came in pretty low last month, something just over 20%, which was just out of the norm for them. Really, they tend to run right in that 30% range. So, I don't know. It's You know, a lot of times it comes down to personal preference, guys. And so no matter what I think, or no matter what this value analysis may reveal, Ultimately, it comes down to what works for you. And that's why I'm working on a new scoring system. You may be aware of this. I am welcoming any input that you guys may be able to offer because I'm creating a series of uh, key metrics that I can score to try to incorporate some of these subjective considerations and, and to the degree possible, quantify them so they can be measured. And that way, when we look at a score one box against another, it, maybe it's a little more meaningful, and that's kind of the goal, uh, you know. So up up until the point we have that, it's really just about, you know, this is one measuring tool, but one. Uh, there are many other factors that determine whether a box is of value to you. So enough said about that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, guys. Invite you again to stop by for the three-minute grab bag giveaway. And until we meet again, take care. Yeah, it's a wally, oh, you're a pamina, a tere. Felt on Tuesday, a boramina, a tere. Yeah, it's a wally, a pamali,